토크TV의 PLPSE 영어 공부 시간입니다. 자, 이번 시간은 영어 공부 절차. 즉, 영어 공부하는 방법 순서죠. 자, 시청자 여러분, 네이티브 스피커의 내레이션이 잘 되는지, 혹은 따라 할수 있는지 한번 해 보시죠. 처음 접하는 분들은 따라 듣기가 쉽지가 않죠. 전부 여섯 번을 반복해서 듣는데요. 본문 전체를 따라가기도 만만치 않은데 이해하면서 따라가기는 쉽지가 않죠. 너무 빠르다고 하는 분도 계신데요. 정상적인 걸 소화시키지 못하고 있는 것이라고 보면 돼요. 자, 하지만 여섯 번 정도 반복 듣기를 하면 어느 정도 감이 잡힙니다. 먼저 한글 성경을 읽은 후에 듣기를 하는 것도 하나의 방법이 되죠. 자꾸 반복해서 들으면서 그 미묘함을 찾아가야 합니다. 감사합니다. 토크TV입니다. Chapter 4 What then shall we say was gained by Abraham, our forefather according to the flesh? Chapter 4 What then shall we say was gained by Abraham, our forefather according to the flesh? Chapter 4 What then shall we say was gained by Abraham, our forefather according to the flesh? Chapter 4 What then shall we say was gained by Abraham, our forefather according to the flesh? Chapter 4 What then shall we say was gained by Abraham, our forefather according to the flesh? For if Abraham was justified by works, he has something to boast about, but not before God. For if Abraham was justified by works, he has something to boast about, but not before God. For if Abraham was justified by works, he has something to boast about, but not before God. For if Abraham was justified by works, he has something to boast about, but not before God. For if Abraham was justified by works, he has something to boast about, but not before God. For what does the scripture say? Abraham believed God, and it was counted to him as righteousness. For what does the scripture say? Abraham believed God, and it was counted to him as righteousness. For what does the scripture say? Abraham believed God, and it was counted to him as righteousness. For what does the scripture say? Abraham believed God, and it was counted to him as righteousness. For what does the scripture say? Abraham believed God, and it was counted to him as righteousness. Now to the one who works, his wages are not counted as a gift, but as his due. Now to the one who works, his wages are not counted as a gift, but as his due. Now to the one who works, his wages are not counted as a gift, but as his due. Now to the one who works, his wages are not counted as a gift, but as his due. Now to the one who works, his wages are not counted as a gift, but as his due. And to the one who does not work but trusts him who justifies the ungodly, his faith is counted as righteousness. And to the one who does not work but trusts him who justifies the ungodly, his faith is counted as righteousness. And to the one who does not work but trusts him who justifies the ungodly, his faith is counted as righteousness. 
and to the one who does not work but trusts him who justifies the ungodly, his faith is counted as righteousness. And to the one who does not work but trusts him who justifies the ungodly, his faith is counted as righteousness. Just as David also speaks of the blessing of the one to whom God counts righteousness apart from works, just as David also speaks of the blessing of the one to whom God counts righteousness apart from works, just as David also speaks of the blessing of the one to whom God counts righteousness apart from works, just as David also speaks of the blessing of the one to whom God counts righteousness apart from works, just as David also speaks of the blessing of the one to whom God counts righteousness apart from works, blessed are those whose lawless deeds are forgiven and whose sins are covered. Blessed are those whose lawless deeds are forgiven and whose sins are covered. Blessed are those whose lawless deeds are forgiven, and whose sins are covered. Blessed are those whose lawless deeds are forgiven, and whose sins are covered. Blessed are those whose lawless deeds are forgiven, and whose sins are covered. Blessed is the man against whom the Lord will not count his sin. Blessed is the man against whom the Lord will not count his sin. Blessed is the man against whom the Lord will not count his sin. Blessed is the man against whom the Lord will not count his sin. Blessed is the man against whom the Lord will not count his sin. Is this blessing then only for the circumcised, or also for the uncircumcised? We say that faith was counted to Abraham as righteousness. Is this blessing then only for the circumcised, or also for the uncircumcised? We say that faith was counted to Abraham as righteousness. Is this blessing then only for the circumcised, or also for the uncircumcised? We say that faith was counted to Abraham as righteousness. Is this blessing then only for the circumcised, or also for the uncircumcised? We say that faith was counted to Abraham as righteousness. Is this blessing then only for the circumcised, or also for the uncircumcised? We say that faith was counted to Abraham as righteousness. How then was it counted to him? Was it before or after he had been circumcised? It was not after, but before he was circumcised. How then was it counted to him? Was it before or after he had been circumcised? It was not after, but before he was circumcised. How then was it counted to him? Was it before or after he had been circumcised? It was not after, but before he was circumcised. How then was it counted to him? Was it before or after he had been circumcised? It was not after, but before he was circumcised. How then was it counted to him? Was it before or after he had been circumcised? It was not after, but before he was circumcised. He received the sign of circumcision as a seal of the righteousness that he had by faith while he was still uncircumcised. The purpose was to make him the father of all who believe without being circumcised, so that righteousness would be counted to them as well as... 
he received the sign of circumcision as a seal of the righteousness that he had by faith while he was still uncircumcised. The purpose was to make him the father of all who believe without being circumcised, so that righteousness would be counted to them as well as he received the sign of circumcision as a seal of the righteousness that he had by faith while he was still uncircumcised. The purpose was to make him the father of all who believe without being circumcised, so that righteousness would be counted to them as well as he received the sign of circumcision as a seal of the righteousness that he had by faith while he was still uncircumcised. The purpose was to make him the father of all who believe without being circumcised, so that righteousness would be counted to them as well as he received the sign of circumcision as a seal of the righteousness that he had by faith while he was still uncircumcised. The purpose was to make him the father of all who believe without being circumcised, so that righteousness would be counted to them as well as and to make him the father of the circumcised, who are not merely circumcised, but who also walk in the footsteps of the faith that our father Abraham had before he was circumcised. And to make him the father of the circumcised, who are not merely circumcised, but who also walk in the footsteps of the faith that our father Abraham had before he was circumcised and to make him the father of the circumcised, who are not merely circumcised, but who also walk in the footsteps of the faith that our father Abraham had before he was circumcised. And to make him the father of the circumcised, who are not merely circumcised, but who also walk in the footsteps of the faith that our father Abraham had before he was circumcised and to make him the father of the circumcised, who are not merely circumcised, but who also walk in the footsteps of the faith that our father Abraham had before he was circumcised. For the promise to Abraham and his offspring that he would be heir of the world did not come through the law, but through the righteousness of faith. For the promise to Abraham and his offspring that he would be heir of the world did not come through the law, but through the righteousness of faith. For the promise to Abraham and his offspring that he would be heir of the world did not come through the law, but through the righteousness of faith. For the promise to Abraham and his offspring that he would be heir of the world did not come through the law, but through the righteousness of faith. For the promise to Abraham and his offspring that he would be heir of the world did not come through the law, but through the righteousness of faith. For if it is the adherents of the law who are to be the heirs, Faith is null and the promise is void. For if it is the adherents of the law who are to be the heirs, faith is null and the promise is void. For if it is the adherents of the law who are to be the heirs, faith is null and the promise is void. For if it is the adherents of the law who are to be the heirs, faith is null and the promise is void. For if it is the adherents of the law who are to be the heirs, faith is null and the promise is void. For the law brings wrath, but where there is no law, there is no transgression. For the law brings wrath, 
but where there is no law, there is no transgression. For the law brings wrath, but where there is no law, there is no transgression. For the law brings wrath, but where there is no law, there is no transgression. For the law brings wrath, but where there is no law, there is no transgression. That is why it depends on faith in order that the promise may rest on grace and be guaranteed to all his offspring, not only to the adherent of the law, but also to the one who shares the faith of Abraham, who is the father of us all. As it that is why it depends on faith, in order that the promise may rest on grace and be guaranteed to all his offspring, not only to the adherent of the law, but also to the one who shares the faith of Abraham, who is the father of us all. As it that is why it depends on faith, in order that the promise may rest on grace and be guaranteed to all his offspring, not only to the adherent of the law, but also to the one who shares the faith of Abraham, who is the father of us all. As it that is why it depends on faith, in order that the promise may rest on grace and be guaranteed to all his offspring, not only to the adherent of the law, but also to the one who shares the faith of Abraham, who is the father of us all. As it that is why it depends on faith in order that the promise may rest on grace and be guaranteed to all his offspring, not only to the adherent of the law, but also to the one who shares the faith of Abraham, who is the father of us all. As it, as it is written, I have made you the father of many nations, in the presence of the God in whom he believed who gives life to the dead and calls into existence the things that do not exist. As it is written, I have made you the father of many nations, in the presence of the God in whom he believed, who gives life to the dead and calls into existence the things that do not exist. As it is written, I have made you the father of many nations, in the presence of the God in whom he believed, who gives life to the dead and calls into existence the things that do not exist. As it is written, I have made you the father of many nations, in the presence of the God in whom he believed, who gives life to the dead and calls into existence the things that do not exist. As it is written, I have made you the father of many nations, in the presence of the God in whom he believed, who gives life to the dead and calls into existence the things that do not exist. In hope, he believed against hope that he should become the father of many nations, as he had been told, so shall your offspring be. In hope, he believed against hope that he should become the father of many nations, as he had been told, so shall your offspring be. In hope, he believed against hope that he should become the father of many nations, as he had been told, so shall your offspring be. In hope, he believed against hope that he should become the father of many nations, as he had been told, so shall your offspring be. In hope, he believed against hope that he should become the father of many nations, as he had been told, so shall your offspring be. He did not weaken in faith when he considered his own body, which was as good as dead, 
since he was about a hundred years old, or when he considered the barrenness of Sarah's womb? He did not weaken in faith when he considered his own body, which was as good as dead, since he was about a hundred years old, or when he considered the barrenness of Sarah's womb? He did not weaken in faith when he considered his own body, which was as good as dead, since he was about a hundred years old, or when he considered the barrenness of Sarah's womb? He did not weaken in faith when he considered his own body, which was as good as dead, since he was about a hundred years old, or when he considered the barrenness of Sarah's womb? He did not weaken in faith when he considered his own body, which was as good as dead, since he was about a hundred years old, or when he considered the barrenness of Sarah's womb? No distrust made him waver concerning the promise of God, but he grew strong in his faith as he gave glory to God fully waver concerning the promise of God, but he grew strong in his faith as he gave glory to God No distrust made him waver concerning the promise of God, but he grew strong in his faith as he gave glory to God fully waver concerning the promise of God, but he grew strong in his faith as he gave glory to God no distrust made him waver concerning the promise of God but he grew strong in his faith as he gave glory to God fully waver concerning the promise of God but he grew strong in his faith as he gave glory to God no distrust made him waver concerning the promise of God but he grew strong in his faith as he gave glory to God fully waver concerning the promise of God but he grew strong in his faith as he gave glory to God no distrust made him waver concerning the promise of God but he grew strong in his faith as he gave glory to God fully waver concerning the promise of God but he grew strong in his faith as he gave glory to God fully convinced that God was able to do what he had promised fully convinced that God was able to do what he had promised fully convinced that God was able to do what he had promised fully convinced that God was able to do what he had promised fully convinced that God was able to do what he had promised that is why his faith was counted to him as righteousness that is why his faith was counted to him as righteousness that is why his faith was counted to him as righteousness. That is why his faith was counted to him as righteousness. That is why his faith was counted to him as righteousness. But the words it was counted to him were not written for his sake alone. But the words it was counted to him were not written for his sake alone. 
but the words it was counted to him were not written for his sake alone. But the words it was counted to him were not written for his sake alone. But the words it was counted to him were not written for his sake alone. But for ours also. It will be counted to us who believe in him who raised from the dead Jesus our Lord. But for ours also. It will be counted to us who believe in him who raised from the dead Jesus our Lord. But for ours also. It will be counted to us who believe in him who raised from the dead Jesus our Lord. But for ours also. It will be counted to us who believe in him who raised from the dead Jesus our Lord. But for ours also. It will be counted to us who believe in him who raised from the dead Jesus our Lord. Who was delivered up for our trespasses and raised for our justification. Who was delivered up for our trespasses and raised for our justification. Who was delivered up for our trespasses and raised for our justification. Who was delivered up for our trespasses and raised for our justification. Who was delivered up for our trespasses and raised for our justification. Chapter 4 What then shall we say was gained by Abraham, our forefather, according to the flesh? For if Abraham was justified by works, he has something to boast about, but not before God. For what does the scripture say? Abraham believed God, and it was counted to him as righteousness. Now to the one who works, his wages are not counted as a gift, but as his due. And to the one who does not work, but trusts him who justifies the ungodly, his faith is counted as righteousness. Just as David also speaks of the blessing of the one to whom God counts righteousness apart from works, blessed are those whose lawless deeds are forgiven and whose sins are covered. Blessed is the man against whom the Lord will not count his sin. Is this blessing then only for the circumcised or also for the uncircumcised? We say that faith was counted to Abraham as righteousness. How then was it counted to him? Was it before or after he had been circumcised? It was not after, but before he was circumcised. He received the sign of circumcision as a seal of the righteousness that he had by faith while he was still uncircumcised. The purpose was to make him the father of all who believe without being circumcised, so that righteousness would be counted to them as well, and to make him the father of the circumcised, who are not merely circumcised, but who also walk in the footsteps of the faith that our father Abraham had before he was circumcised. For the promise to Abraham and his offspring that he would be heir of the world did not come through the law, but through the righteousness of faith. For if it is the adherents of the law who are to be the heirs, faith is null and the promise is void. For the law brings wrath, but where there is no law, there is no transgression. That is why it depends on faith in order that the promise may rest on grace and be guaranteed to all his offspring, not only to the adherent of the law, but also to the one who shares the faith of Abraham, who is the father of us all. As it is written, I have made you the father of many nations in the presence of the God in whom he believed who gives life to the dead and calls into existence the things that do not exist. In hope, he believed against hope that he should become the father of many nations, as he had been told, so shall your offspring be. He did not weaken in faith when he considered his own body, which was as good as dead, 
since he was about a hundred years old, or when he considered the barrenness of Sarah's womb? No distrust made him waver concerning the promise of God, but he grew strong in his faith as he gave glory to God, fully convinced that God was able to do what he had promised. That is why his faith was counted to him as righteousness. But the words it was counted to him were not written for his sake alone, but for ours also. It will be counted to us who believe in him who raised from the dead Jesus our Lord, who was delivered up for our trespasses and raised for our justification.